The mafia's got got to come back. Please. Please, I was looking at one of Gavin's posts. I guess Gavin talked about it on his show too. The uh, whole um, organized crime and the mafia. We brought it up. Please, we need you now. We need you, mafia, I, for your garbage carting, construction jobs. I said it two weeks ago, and I yeah. stand by it. Come back, mafia. Please, mob. Please. We are begging you to come back and uh, law and order. A little bit of uh, jobs. I don't care if they're no show or no work. Whatever jobs you want to give us. I will uh, I'll run some numbers for you for right. on the house. Just bring it all back. We'll get garbage carting. It'll be efficient. It'll be done. And, uh, and please, yeah. yeah, take care of the homeless problem that we're obviously way too fucking stupid to oh, manage. Oh, yeah. We can't deal with it. They'll clean it up. If, yeah. they, if there are uh, venues that are owned by the mafia clubs or, or other th uh, things, restaurants, and there are homeless people keeping people from going into these clubs, mm -hmm. you will see the homeless problem disappear. The mob is going to go, hey, no one's coming into my fucking joint because this Jadrul out here doesn't fuck, he's filthy, he's asking for money. And, uh, you think they'll be like, well... He is, uh, you know, impoverished. Yeah, he... And uh, we don't like uh, pu putting the, the muscle on these poor people that... You know on. what it is. The systemic racism makes yeah. it so he's socially disadvantaged. <laughs> you don't want none of this. The woke mafia. <laughs> That's all we need. The woke fucking mafia. Hey, they're not called whores. They're sex industry workers. <laughs> <laughs> They're just trying to make a good living for their family, which right. is why we give them 100% of what they earn. 100%. <laughs> you know, they're breaking through the glass ceiling. It's <laughs> like I threw Vito through the glass door that night. You remember? The, way the, the old ways. The old ways. We don't do that no more. We don't do that no more. We're the Moke Mafia. Yeah, what I'm going to do here is take this strip club we got and <laughs> turn it into a nice soup kitchen. <laughs> we'll give them nice clothes, <laughs> a nice uh, <laughs> Italian wedding soup. <laughs> As that saint burns in your hand, I want your racism and homophobia to burn away. <laughs> Now, prick your finger, but don't get the blood on anyone. You might have the COVID. So, so I had to hurt somebody. I go into this fucking place. They only got two bathrooms. <laughs> they want to rent this to me. I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean you got two? There's three kinds of people that need to use my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bobby's, uh, Bobby's not paying the vig. I want you to go over there and hurt him. Like, hurt him? No, no. Misgender him. <laughs> that will hurt. Because he's Barbara now. Call him Bobby, misgender him, and, and I guarantee he will, he will pay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bobby Rupinzano? Barbara Rupin. Barbara. You don't got to leave that in here. <laughs> you take it to him. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah. The woke mob. Great. That's what we get in 2020. We want fucking garbage carting and construction jobs, and we get, hey, not for nothing. She's a person, too. <laughs> yeah, I put him in a wheelchair. Did he owe you money? No. No, I bought him a wheelchair. He couldn't walk. He had MS. Yeah, I got him a chair. <laughs> what do you mean, hurt him? <laughs> That's coming out of your cut. <laughs> He's a good earner, but if he can't earn right now, that's all right. That's okay. These things happen. No, COVID. <laughs> Oh, Did Christ. you just walk in here without a mask on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the head. I just can't fucking deal with what's going on these days. Oh, Lord. Um, oh, where was the...